Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where the makeup and sass keeps you coming back for more. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm going to be doing a swatch, a lipstick swatch video on the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection um, liquid lips and the birthday lip and um, you know and whatnot because I only got lip products from the birthday collection and you know I want to show you guys if they look good on me especially being a um, woman of color is this uh, is this kit and all the other little shades that came in the mini going to match my shade and not make me look like I'm casket ready or something so if you want to see what all of these colors end up looking like on me stay tuned um I do have high hopes for a lot of these shades so hopefully I won't really need like a lip liner or anything for them but if I do you know I can make it work since I already spent my good coin on these products so let's just jump right into it so that this video isn't too long I do have the birthday color, the lip kit for the birthday called 20. I have the mini matte liquid lips and these are the uh, liquid lips, not the velvet ones. I only got the mattes, not the velvets. And I have one of the birthday glosses. Um, I also have one of the birthday highlighters. So um, let's put that on my cheeks first because I'm not wearing any highlighter. So we'll start off with this one first, and I got the color Queen. I did mention all of these products in my um, <clears throat> haul video, so if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and see all the products that I spent some money on. You know you want to. Go ahead and check that out after this video, of course. So let me find... Which I, let me use this little brush here since it is a loose powder. So the Queen one is supposed to be the like more pinky toned one here so hopefully i like the swatch when i did it so um hopefully it does look good on me just tapping off the excess because i don't like too much of a highlight and let's see okay whoo this highlighter is getting everywhere so you want to pack it don't brush it but it is cute. I like this color. Oops. Damn. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is blinding. I like it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can. Um, I like this a lot. Uh, I'm really happy I decided to go with this color instead of the king which is a more goldy one because I think I have too many like gold highlighters and I wanted like a different one so let's do the other cheek again pat don't brush because this is a loose highlighter it gets everywhere but no I am not mad at this at all I am here for this this is gorgeous. Okay, Kylie, I see you. Okay, I am here for this. Yes, okay, so out of all the things I bought for the birthday collection, the highlighter was a win. I'm super glad. And apparently these ultra glows can also be used as um, eyeshadows or like body hit shimmers and stuff. So, I mean, I do plan on, you know, trying it out and seeing how many things I can get out of it since, you know, I did pay some good money for this. Moving on, we're going to start with the mini. We're going to do the gloss. Let's do the gloss first. Since I'm wearing gloss right now, let's do the gloss first. I'm just going to wipe my lips off. Okay, there's no product on my lips. And we're going to go in with the Kylie gloss. And this one is in the shade Cupcake. And it looks like this. I really do love the packaging for the birthday collection. And um, I think it's really cute. This like baby dolly pink. I think it's really cute. So that's the first thing here um no problems with my brush so let's see how it looks okay so this gloss is really 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 pigmented um i would say in my opinion too pigmented i like the color a lot 
but definitely going to need a lip liner with this. I feel like if I had a lip liner, it would really give me a nice ombre lip effect. I do like glosses, and I usually do always wear lip liner under my glosses because I find that it makes them last longer, or at least there's still color on my lips because it is a gloss. It's going to wear off at some point. You suck on anything. Suck. Oh, wow. You uh, bite into anything, have a straw, have a drink. It's going to go away. So um, I do always wear lip liners. So wearing a lip liner with this really wouldn't annoy me. But um, I like it. Uh, ooh. Keep on getting lipstick on my teeth. I like it a lot. It's um, It's a bit much. I definitely have to work on my application because I think I, I just put too much gloss on because the brush really comes out with like a thick amount so um gotta work on that but I'm not mad at this one either um I like it let me know what you guys think it does look a little crazy I'm looking at myself in this mirror I look a little crazy I wouldn't leave the house with just this lip gloss but I like it I like it a lot it could also be like a nice topper all right <clears throat> so now that we've done the gloss let's move on to the minis there's a lot of colors in here guys so let's see how this works out um i'm gonna start with the first color which i hope i get this right which would be this one and that's supposed to be the color one wish how do i get these things out Ooh. oh oh they open that's cute okay so this one yeah this one is one wish so let's see what One Wish does to the lips. So this is One Wish. This is not something I would wish upon anyone. Um, <laughs> it's just too bright. Like it's too pink for my lips or for my skin tone rather. This is another one that I would definitely have to wear a lip liner with. Honestly, I feel like with one wish, I could lip, I could line my lips with like my MAC chestnut cause that's just my staple lip liner or like my Rimmel Cafe Au Lait. That could be really cute. And do an ombre with this and if I wanted more of a glossy lip use the cupcake gloss on top of that so no no that's a no for me let's just take this off Whew. okay guys my lips already hurt we're gonna go in with this next color and this one is called baby girl I think this one might be one of the colors from the Coco collection not sure no this is no i like this color but this is the streakiest shit i've ever put on my lips baby girl sucks it so streaky it's patchy it's falling apart on my lips and i haven't even worn this for like five minutes and i had to put on like four layers to even get like a decent color payoff no no this is not good either all right guys we're gonna move on to the next shade I did go ahead and put a little bit of chapstick on my lips because my lips were really really starting to hurt um, I have really really sensitive lips and these things just dried down way too fast um, and I took them off like because I'm doing it and I'm taking it off so it's like I'm not giving my lips enough time so whatever Moving on to the next shade called Angel. I think this is one of the most popular ones, so this shade better look good. Finally. Angel did not disappoint. Now this is a shade I could work with. It went on perfectly well. That was the fastest one that like that was the fastest time I applied any of these. 
it's super pretty i could wear this without a lip liner in my opinion i think it looks great this angel thank you this is the shade all right finally we have a good one guys i am here for this angel is great this is a good one the next shade is one of the ones that i'm most excited about it's the one called august bug it was a whole lip, lip kit called June Bug, but she renamed it and put it as August Bug and put it in the mini matte collection. I really am excited about this because it's like a super bright fuchsia purple color. So hopefully it looks better than Baby Girl because um, I'm feeling like the bright colors aren't really their thing or something. So fingers crossed. shade did not disappoint thank you Jesus I love this color if you're into really really bright lip colors this is a staple I knew I was gonna love this one and I'm really glad it didn't disappoint it wasn't streaky or anything um it's still drying down a bit but it's a beautiful shade I am here for this Kylie all right we're, we're you're doing something I love this. This is such like a nice like spring summer color. But knowing me, I will I will be wearing this color into the fall. So just don't judge me. Um, I just don't believe in limiting lip shades to season. So there's that. I'm really liking this. I am. I'm into this. So the next shade that we're gonna try is called All Nighter. Um, not kind. I'm kind of not sure what color this is. Looks like a bright. Kind of pink, maybe orangey pink. We'll see. All right, guys. So this color, it's like I want to like it and I like the color, but the formula sucks. It's really streaky and it's kind of like settling into this line here of my lips, skips this whole section of my lips and then like settles into the inner part of my lips. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, like ugh. that was not a good look, but it's already starting to like crumble. Um, I don't like this at all. Um, that one was all night there. This would not last all night on anybody's lips. I don't know who they're trying to fool with this one. Nope, this sucks. Oh no, whoo, God. All right, so the last shade part of that's part of the mini set that we're gonna try is this color Gorge. I also think that this was part of the Coco collection. So let's see, it looks kind of like a plummy color. Hopefully it's nice. Gorge is Gorge. This is a winner. Thank God we ended on a good note. So for the final shade of the video, we're gonna be doing the birthday collection lip. This one is called 20. I feel like I've said that so many times throughout this video. I'm so sorry, guys. Just get this thing open here. Ugh. Does come with a liquid lip and a lip liner. Both of them here. So I'm going to use the lip liner because it came with it and I'm going to see what it looks like, you know, so here we go. So this is the shade. 20, the official birthday lip kit I love this color now this is a color I'm so glad this one didn't disappoint because it is the birthday color it definitely looks good on my skin tone I think this would look good on all skin tones actually um yeah I'm feeling this what do you guys think let me know so let's recap all of the shades that we tried out today and all of the products so for the highlighter the ultra glow the color queen 
right here. I'm into this. This is a beautiful sh uh, highlighter. I thought it looked really great on me, so I would definitely recommend it. Don't know if they're still selling this stuff by the time I um, post this video. So let's start off with the bad stuff, the bad lips, and then we'll get to the ones I loved and thought were really, really great. So number one, I hated Baby Girl. This is the streakiest thing I have ever put on my lips and it was just not, no, it was not worth it. Then, All Nighter, again, this wasn't lasting all night on anyone's lip, on anyone's lips, like no, this, no, that's a negative, can't stand that. Then, One Wish isn't a bad um, product, like the formula isn't bad, but I do need a lip liner for it. And the same goes for the Gloss Cupcake. I do like both of the colors. I just need more of a lip liner for it to match my skin tone a little bit more. So I'm not mad at these two as much as I am about the other ones, but you know, these would need for me to go an extra step and put on a lip liner, which is okay, but I'm just throwing that out there in case you wanna know. Now, for my favorites, here we go. I think that Angel, was a great color, it was beautiful. It kind of reminds me of 20, but not really as um, dark. I loved Angel, I thought it was beautiful, and I could wear it alone, so that's a plus for me. If I can wear it alone, you're going right into my bag, love this. I also loved Gorge, that is a gorgeous color for the fall, loved it, that was a win. The next one I loved was August Bug. I'm so mad I didn't get this earlier in the summer because I would have rocked it all summer long. I'm still gonna rock it as much as I can before the sun goes down and um, you know it gets kind of darker for the fall, but that was also a beautiful color. I think it would go perfectly, especially if you have a darker, richer skin tone. Like I think these kind of shades really bring out our melanin, our melanin really well. Um, so that was a really, really beautiful one. And then of course, I loved the actual birthday shade called 20. It's what's on my lips right now. I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful color and definitely deserved being the actual birthday lip kit. Um, so guys, that's it for the lip video. I'm gonna wear this lip color for the rest of the day because I love it so much. If you got any of the Kylie Cosmetics birthday collection, please let me know. If anybody got the eyeshadow palette, let me know how it is. Um, I'd really like to know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video, but subscribe to my channel if you want to see more cool videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.